So hi everyone, uh, namaste, welcome to a brand new video. So yeah, I had a lot of requests that like what are the things that you should pack uh, before coming here in UK. So yeah, I request this request and I thought like why not create a video, you know, that will help all the students who are going through the same situations. So basically, yeah, we will talk about this video, karenge, what are the things that you should uh, pack, you know, before coming to UK and what are the things you should avoid, uh, you know, carrying while you are coming to UK. So a bit of introduction for people who are seeing me for the first time. Yeah, uh, Jovi I am Pranil. I am doing my undergrad here in Northumbria University, Newcastle, uh, in electrical electronics engineering. And yeah, uh, I am pretty much a new in this platform. So yeah, your love and support will be very much appreciated. And yeah, Jovi Log ne mera channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai. I don't know what you guys are waiting for. So yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now so you don't miss any new videos I upload and you will be updated with all the videos that I upload. So yeah, packing list ka video, uh, you know, this video is not only relevant to st uh, student coming here in UK, but you know, this might help to all the study abroad aspirants, whether they might, they are going to US, Canada, Australia, anywhere around the world. So yeah, this video will be relevant to all the study abroad aspirants. I know Joby student matlab ye video dekh raha hai, un logo ke life mein ek excitement wala face chal raha hai, you know, because they're uh, about to enter the, you know, new experience into a new country. Since we are, uh, you know, about to enter September and September is the major intake for UK universities. So once again, a massive congratulations to all the students who have successfully got their tier four visa or student visa. I am also available in social media in Instagram and LinkedIn. So all my social media handles will be uh, mentioned in the description. So yeah, if you need uh, any help or if you have any queries regarding the study abroad or coming to UK, you can, you know, feel free to drop me an email or, you know, DM me on Instagram. I will try and get back to you as much as possible. So kind of a bonus tip, uh, you know, before packing your stuff. So firstly, check your baggage allowance for whichever uh, uh, airlines you are booking your ticket from. So if you are booking tickets from, let's say, uh, agar aap, you know, Air India, Vistara, Joby, uh, uh, ticket, uh, airline se ticket book kar hai, make sure you check the baggage allowance that they are giving, you know, some some bag some airlines have different uh, you know weight ratio so make sure you check the baggage allowance and also make sure you prioritize your item so only pack the essential item that you need here so agar aap logo ko, matlab, wo item, uh, if you don't need that item straight after you land here in uk so don't pack that item you can get that things in here and you know agar aap logo ko kuch bhi saman uh, same price pe mil raha hai india pe and uk pe so i would say i'll uh, don't get that product uh, and you know don't carry all the way from india or whatever country that you are coming from since you have got very much limited allowance and very much uh, you know limited space in your luggage so uh, prioritizing your items before packing is very much essential. Also make sure to label your luggage so that it's, you know, it's, uh, you can identify your luggage pretty easily, even from far distance. So yeah, uh, you can, you know, either tie something with it or write your name and your address in it. So whatever that might be. So make sure your luggage is quite identical uh, so that it might be easier for you to, you know, pick the luggage uh, whenever you are in a crowd, when you are, you know, coming out of the airport. And also in terms of luggage, you know, don't get all the big luggages. Uh, make sure you have one small luggage as well. So whenever you are doing a trip in, you know, inside the country, within the country, uh, you, you, you're not going to carry the, you know, full bag, you know. So make sure you got a small trolley or small luggage, you know, so that it, you might use that whenever you are doing trips within the country. So anyways, uh, let's get ahead and yeah, about karte hai, like the essential items you should be bringing uh, when you are coming to UK. So starting with the documents. So obviously you will be carrying your passport, which is most crucial and make sure you carry the passport size photo as well. So carry at least uh, eight to 10 passport size photos from India, you know, uh, and also make sure like the, you know, what are the size requirement of the UK uh, when you are taking the passport size photo. So 
normally uh, you know passport size photo in here are super expensive super duper expensive you get like five passport size photo for five pounds which is extremely expensive so make sure you carry you know the passport size photo and check the requirement the size requirement of the uk and also uh, i would also suggest you know to get a physical print uh, hard copy of your document uh, you know university accommodation address or whatever address that might be because you know when you are carrying your uh, electronics item your electronics item may fail anytime you know if your phone battery dies so you won't be having that uh, proof of address with you so make sure you know up log matlab apna accommodation ka address ka matlab ek physical uh, print leke chaliye kyunki anyone can ask you at any time like what are the address that you will be going so that's number 2 and in terms of driving license so make sure if you've got driving license in india make sure you carry your driving license along with you because you know so if you've got indian driving license so you can convert it into international driving license uh, pretty easily in here and yeah you get to drive uh, here in uk roads for one year and yeah you can apply for uk driving license after you drive for one year and also uh, if you have got like a previous work experience in india make sure you update your cv and bring your cv along with you uh, it might not be necessary to bring your you know hard copy of your cv but make sure you have the updated soft copy of your cv in your laptop or you know whatever electronic gadget that you will be bringing along with you so let's talk about the electronics item that you will be ca carrying and yeah you will definitely be carrying your laptop or your phone with you and yeah if you are carrying your laptop make sure your laptop is in your handbag and not in your luggage so that might cause you a problem and most important most important thing you need to carry is travel adapter so i've got a physical demo of travel adapter from you you uh, uk and india so yeah we've got round uh, type of you know socket in india and we've got like a rectangular here in uk so yeah make sure you've got the travel adapter so it's compatible with your charger even i did this mistake you know uh, make completely bhul gaya tha ki travel adapter lane ke liye I don't know why like I was whether I was excited or I was busy or something so yeah uh, I had to charge my phone uh, in toilet for 2 days before I could find this travel adapter here so yeah make sure you even if you forget anything let's not forget the travel adapter this is super duper important for you since you need to you know use your electronics item as soon as you land here in UK so make sure you or travel adapter is traveling along with you so let's now talk about the clothes that you need uh, you know the essential clothes that you need to bring so firstly if you are doing uh, you know a uh, warm clothes shopping whether that is a jacket or trouser so make sure you are buying water resistant jacket since uh, you know winter in here is quite hard so yahan pe like matlab thandi bahut zyada padta hai and also the weather in here is quite moody so it might change its mood anytime and yeah it rains a lot in here so the jackets or trouser whatever you are buying make sure it's water resistant and yeah the water should not leak inside and also do not forget to carry umbrella with you like i already said uh, the weather in here is quite moody and it might rain any time so make sure you carry one umbrella with you and in terms of other shopping like make sure uh, up look uh, you know a uh, few black t-shirt few white t-shirts and few formal shirts as well so whenever you've got a part time job some of the jobs might require white t-shirts some of the job might require black t-shirts and if you are attending interview or any functions uh yeah let's not forget to bring the formal shirts and formal pants as well and formal shoes as well so don't bring too much of a summer clothes and i would suggest don't bring too much of a clothes in here since uh you know the clothes price uh here in uk and india it's almost the same uh, i think uh, so some of the things might get you know you might get some of the things cheaper in here even compared to india so yeah zyada kapde mat lana so pride like i already said prioritize your packing and yeah only bring the stuff that is super duper important since you've got very limited allowance so let's now talk about the kitchen stuff uh, make sure you bring one rice cooker one pressure cooker along with you since you know we indians we eat uh, rice a lot and also roti uh, chapati is a lot so if you can accommodate make sure you bring one of the frying pan small frying pan as well 
and most importantly uh, you don't have to carry too much of food so you, since you will get everything in here every single thing you'll get every single thing in here so make sure you bring uh, authentic indian sp spices you know that you will miss a lot the authentic indian spices so yeah uh, achar or anything or and importantly make sure you are not carrying any dairy products with you so sometimes you might be lucky and you know the customs department won't find the dairy products that you are carrying but uh if they catch you you will have to pay a hefty penalty for that so yeah make sure it's better to be safe than sorry you know so yeah make sure you are not carrying any dairy products with you so that you don't you avoid the penalty and you don't have to pay any fees or you know fines and if you are someone who wear glasses like me make sure you've got an extra glass as well since uh you know glasses the specs in here is super duper expensive and yeah make sure you've got all your medicines as well if you have any prescribed medicines uh make sure you bring that as well and i would also suggest bring one set of full uh you know medicine like paracetamol anything like paracetamol like some of the you know loose motions pills or body pain pills anything that is uh, available so make sure you bring the medicine and also uh you know try and make a prescription from the doctor if you are carrying any medicines so like i already said in the beginning prioritizing your packing is very 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 super duper important so yeah make sure you only bring the stuffs that are very much essential uh, as soon as you land here in uk uh, since we we have covered documents which is very much important electronics you know medicines and clothes and some kitchen items so these are the most important things so other than that um, once you land here in uk once you start earning once you start exploring the city and once you get to know the places you will find all the stuffs here in uk some of the things are might be expensive compared to india but some of the things might be cheaper so yeah make sure you are prior prioritizing your uh, luggage according to your needs once again a massive congratulations to all the students who have successfully got their visa welcome to uk so welcome to a country full of opportunities welcome to your independent world so hopefully we will meet with few if possible if not thanks a lot for watching the video cheers bye bye i will be back very soon